Hi guys, this is the story of Bernard the Bumbling Ladybird Bee and hopefully it will help you to understand this week's God's Law a little bit more. Bernard was not a very happy bee. For one thing, every time he came near to anyone they started jumping about shouting Shoo! Shoo! Bernard was only trying to be friendly. After all, he didn't understand it. Other insects didn't have these problems. Butterflies, for example. They didn't have these problems. Every time, saw someone, every time someone saw a butterfly, they would say things like, Oh, wow, what a beautiful butterfly. Look, look at the beautiful butterfly. But all Bernard got was, Shoo, shoo, buzz off. And those jolly ladybirds, they seemed to be the most popular creatures of all. Everyone loved ladybirds. They were allowed to land on people's arms and the people told them poems about how they should fly away home. But if Bernard tried landing on someone's arm, the person tried to bash him and then there would be more shoo shoo. Bernard was not a happy bee. He had complained to his friends Bellamy and Betsy, but they had told him to just be himself. He would always be a bee at the end of the day, but Bernard was not happy. After several more weeks of shoo shoo, Bernard was getting very annoyed. And then he had an idea. Bees weren't that different looking from ladybirds. He had legs and wings, a little bit like a ladybird. And that little girl, Lucy, had been painting again. And as usual, she'd left her paints out. All Bernard would need to do would be to roll about in the right colours and he would be a ladybird. So Bernard rolled this way and that in the paint until he was red with black spots. Bellamy and Betsy didn't recognise him at first but when they did they just started to laugh. They couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> you look ridiculous, Chortle Bellamy. You may look like a ladybird, but you're not a ladybird. It'll all end in tears. But Bernard was determined. He started to fly around with his wings flapping. Sure enough, no more shoo shoo. Bernard was enjoying his newfound popularity. I knew it was better to be a ladybird, Bernard hummed to himself. Then he saw Lucy in the garden. He flew down towards her. She didn't run away or say shoo. He landed on her arm. She didn't seem bothered. She started the rhyme that she used for the ladybirds, the one about flying away home. But Bernard didn't want to fly away home. And then Bernard got a strange feeling. It began to rise inside him. He couldn't stop himself. No, I'm a ladybird, he shouted. But the feeling wouldn't go away. And then, almost without him knowing, his stinger came up and stuck straight into Lucy's arm. Lucy screamed and threw Bernard into the air. Bernard felt quite bad. Lucy was crying now. But Bernard couldn't have stopped himself. He was, after all, a bee, no matter what he looked like on the outside. You see what I mean? What we are really like on the inside will always come out eventually. And we'll have another story about Bernard, Bellamy and Betsy next week. <laughs>